Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, I'm going to show you how to add in those missing options. Once you click on change advanced power settings, um, a couple of windows ago, or windows updates ago, some laptops and desktops actually miss all these um, advanced power settings. I'm going to show you how to add those back in again today. But before we get to that guys, please head on over to my homepage. If you subscribe to the channel, please make sure that all notifications are on so that when I do drop a new video you are notified instantaneously smash that like button comment in the video and share the video really will help me with the algorithm for those of you that aren't subscribed please consider subscribing if you find this content helpful and then you can have a look on my home page I have a ton of optimization videos you can get stuck into but you're not here for that you here to add in those missing options so guys once you go to the description of this video there will be, uh, what is that, seven links. So just click on the first link. It's going to take you to add or remove maximum process estate. And then just copy this registry key over here. And then what I want you to do is press down the Windows key and R. And at this point, I'm going to assume that you are on an administrator account. So it, once you just type in CMD over here, it opens it with administrative uh, uh, privileges and then just copy that or paste that link that you uh, copied press enter and then what we can what you're going to do is just click on the next link and it's going to bring you to system cooling policy just copy that code over here go back to cmd paste enter click on the next link add or remove adaptive display and then just copy this registry key go into cmd paste enter click on the next link usb selective suspend setting just copy that registry key paste it into cmd press enter press on uh, link state power management scroll down copy that key go into cmd paste enter and then just click on the second last link power saving mode or wireless adaptive settings copy this registry can uh, copy this registry key over here going to cmd paste enter and then lastly just go add or remove minimum process estate scroll down until you get this registry key over here copy it and then in CMD, all you're gonna do is press paste, enter, and you're done. So now, once you click on change advanced power settings, will you have a look at that? All your options are back. So what you're gonna, um, I assume that you wanted to add in all these options, so it's either for gaming, or for rendering, or for any CPU uh, intensive process. So I just go ahead and put it on all the maximum settings, wireless, Adapter settings, you can go to power saving mode, just put on maximum performance on both options. Sleep, I'll put on never and never. USB settings, USB selector, I'll just put on disabled, disabled. PCI Express, link state power, man uh, power management, put on off and off. Processor, minimum, I'll put on 100 and 100. System cooling policy, I'll put on active and active. Maximum, I'll put on 100 and 100. And then in display, turn off display after never never. And adaptive display, I just put off and off. Once that is done, apply, press OK, you're done. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's Monday. Have a good week. It's people like you. Cheers.